So today I am going to do a video on flying with two kids under two. Scary, I know. <laughs> so this is a first time for me. Um, we did a trip in December with our two kids to Mexico. So from here it was only a four hour and then a three hour flight. So four hours there, three hours back. So um, I'm not gonna lie, I had a lot of anxiety going up to this trip because just two in diapers, lots going on. Um, thankfully it was just a direct flight so that makes it a little bit easier and I was flying with my husband so he, I knew I had him to help. But I'd never done this before so I thought I could share my tips, my advice as well as my packing for the uh, the airline. So this is going to be a, um, a small packing uh, video for our, our carry-on for my six month old as well as my almost two year old. He's a year and ten months so very close. So. Uh, stay tuned and uh, I will show you what was in our carry-on bags as well as give you my best tips and tricks for flying sanely <laughs> with two under two. So tip number one is do not overpack. There's nothing worse than going through an airport with too much stuff. So even before I had kids, I was an overpacker. Purses were always exploding. And when we did our, our vacations twice a year, I always overpacked and I hated carrying the luggage. So I think that was a big part of what gave me the anxiety because I have big boys, carrying them plus all their stuff plus all our stuff did not sound like a fun plan. So I made sure not to overpack. So a few ways that I found helped with avoiding overpacking is pack a lot of the essential stuff. So definitely lots of diapers, way more wipes than you think you're gonna need because I nearly ran out and that was a little scary for me and I couldn't buy them on the resort so that kind of freaked me out, but we may do. Um, diaper rash cream, obviously if you're going somewhere warm like we were, um, sunblock, things like that, but for your carry-on, just the essentials. Definitely a couple changes of clothes, don't skimp out on those. So other than the essential stuff, I would definitely stick with um, minimalist packing. Um, use items as well that will work as a, a double duty. So for instance, I had a big sweater on because we left, I think it was like minus 20 when we left. So I was very happy to go. So I wore a big sweater, but it kind of had a wrap around the sweater. So I used that as a blanket. I used that as a nursing cover. Um, <clears throat> I used that just to, you know, even snuggle and swaddle my baby when he was upright on my chest. So that worked really well for me. Um, and I didn't have to pack extra blankets and things like that for him just on the carry on. So that was uh, very useful as well. Tip number two would be to try to encourage your babies to sleep on the plane. So for instance, our flight left at six in the morning, which meant we had to drive an hour to the airport and be there. We were there roughly three hours before. So we left really early. The boys, it was the middle of the night. The boys normally sleep through the night, so it was really rough for them. But um, we tried to entertain them on the way to the airport. Once we were in the airport, of course, there's so much action going on and, and things like that. Once we had them in the stroller, they were looking at everybody and we were kind of pointing things out to them, um, gave them a few little toys for them to play with. And they actually stayed awake all the way up until boarding. Once we were boarding, they were pooped out. So we got a good, I'd say about a good hour or two each from the kids sleeping on the plane and it just made it so much easier just nice and quiet and calm I typically don't sleep on planes so for me I didn't sleep but my husband got to sleep um, and both boys got to sleep but I just got to relax I got to have a drink of coffee and just sort of unwind and prepare for the rest of the flight so that would be tip number two is to try to get your babies to sleep on the plane tip number three would be to pack a stroller um i can't believe it but i was crazy enough to think that oh you could probably get by on this trip without a stroller i thought we were just going to a resort so i brought my my wrap to carry my baby my older kid likes to walk everywhere even when he's in a stroller he tries to climb out so i thought and eh, we probably don't need it but last minute my husband said you know what 
we should probably bring the double stroller. And I thought, oh God, this thing is huge, but it does fold down. We called the airline to make sure it was okay. They were fine with the measurements. And this thing is, I mean, it's pretty big. We have the uh, Contours Option Elite double stroller. It does fold in half, but it's got two full-size seats. Um, so we didn't have to bring the adapter or the, the car seat. We just brought the two regular size seats and the stroller, but I am so, so thankful we did because it's just, it, it, it was worth it enough just to get through the airport between checking in the luggage, wait times, getting on the plane, getting off the plane, getting through customs and all that stuff. It was a long process, especially for two kids that are not even two years old. Like it was a lot. My two year old almost lost his shit. So <laughs> I'm very glad he was strapped in. We just tried to entertain him with toys and make it through as fast as we could, but the stroller was a lifesaver. So if you have two kids, then definitely take a double stroller. One kid, take a single stroller. It's much easier, obviously, with a single stroller, but um, I highly advise that as well. It's great for holding all your stuff. So we had diaper bags, you know, a small carry-ons, like our duffel bags, our jackets, a kids' jackets, winter jackets, all inside the, the stroller. So it really made maneuvering around a lot easier. Tip number four is to keep your kids busy. Whether it's food or toys or entertainment of that sort, it will make for a much, much saner flight. Obviously, if you have a baby under one, it's a little different. So for my uh, six month old, you'll see the toys that I brought were just, you know, little basic baby toys, things that have color and crinkle and um, soft stuff he can chew. He was teething at the time, which made it a little bit me of a Debbie Downer, but we survived. Uh, my almost two year old, that was another story. He's a very, 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 very active kid. So to have him sitting awake in the morning, especially in the mornings is when he's like revving to go, super excited. It, you know, it was a little tough, um, especially our flight, uh, cause it was a shorter flight, you know, how some flights have, um, those TVs in the back of the, the, the seats to play movies and things like that, or they have the drop down TVs. Our plane did not have any of that. And of course, um, our kids don't have tablets. We don't have tablets or anything like that. We didn't bring a laptop so we had to kind of improvise and bring um, some activities and stuff for them which I'll show you in my toddler's bag, uh, his carry-on bag. So that um, that is a big, 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 big recommendation is to bring lots of stuff to entertain and keep them busy as well as snacks. Snacks, you know, eat, even if they're not hungry sometimes my kid just he's bored and he wants a snack. If I give him snacks like finger food like puffs or uh, Cheerios and things like that. It really does keep him busy. He can sit there. He picks them up one at a time, buys you a couple minutes here and there, and keeps him happy and you happy at the same time because a quiet baby is a happy mom. <laughs> My fifth and final tip would be to take lots of clothing. Now, for two reasons. Um, first reason is that we were leaving, like I said, very, very, very cold, cold, cold temperatures going somewhere very warm. So to have a change of clothes that are kind of appropriate to where you're going, so your kid's not wearing fleecy pajamas when he gets off the plane in, you know, 35 degree weather, is probably a good idea because you don't want your kid to overheat and sweat and get really uncomfortable and cranky. So I packed for both my kids uh, a warm, a, like a light outfit for them, but um, I don't know what it is. There's something with the altitude that just makes poop explosions happen. Uh, specifically for my six month old, he um, had a poop explosion, changed his clothes. I had a, a wet bag, so I put all the clothes in there that were all dirty and stuff, changed him, came out, everything was fine. I calmed down. No more than about 20 minutes happened. And again, another poop explosion. This kid normally poops once a day, but for some reason that plane ride just did it for him. So again, we went through two changes of clothes, not including the clothes that I had packed for him. So thankfully I had packed two change of outfits plus his, his final outfit to get off the airplane. And that is what I had left. So that was three outfits we went through from the span of one flight. Now my toddler is another story. He normally only really messes up his shirts. Like he's kind of a messy eater, wipes his hands everywhere. Sometimes he even wipes his hands and his hair down his face and on his shirt. It just happens. So bibs and all doesn't matter. I need a couple changes of shirts for him. Not so much pants, but I decided to err on the side of caution and pack him a set of PJs and a set and two sets of outfits. Lo and behold, on the flight there, he got sick and threw up all over himself. So we needed that outfit, 
Plus we had the outfit that we changed him into once we got there. So I was more than thankful that I had lots of clothes. So I would really, really advise to make sure you have extra clothes and you think you need just in case. They're not heavy. You can roll them up and pack them really tight into a bag and you will be very thankful if you were in my situation and needed all of them. So those are my five tips for how to travel with two under two. Hey everyone, so these are the two um, bags we packed for diaper bags for our six month old and our almost two year old son. So this bag here was packed up for my six month old, which I carried. And this uh, Anello backpack was packed for my toddler, which my husband carried. So each of us designated a child. I'm still breastfeeding my six month old, so it made sense for me to have the baby in the baby's bag, whereas he had the toddler with the toddler bag. And I'm very, very glad I did not pack one bag because this is something that I was not expecting. But when we got stuck on our seats, um, we got stuck in the middle aisle for our seat selection. And with three adults and two babies, there's not enough oxygen masks to drop down. God forbid there was an emergency, which means we actually had to be split up on both flights. So if I had packed everything into one bag, basically we would have been screwed. We would have been running back and forth trying to get clothes and diapers and stuff. It would have been a disaster. So I'm very glad we packed a bag for each kid. So again, that was some, that would be something I would suggest as well too. So I'm gonna move this bag and start with the baby's bag. So this is the JJ Cole satchel, by the way, uh, in case you're interested. So um, I'm just gonna jump right in. In this front pocket here, I don't have anything. Um, it is a small pocket, so you could fit things like pacifiers. My son does not take one, so we don't need it, but you could definitely fit the pacifiers in there. In this little pocket, I did keep my headphones. Um, now this bag is great for compartmentalizing everything. Um, it has tons of pockets. It is something that you will definitely need. You do not want to have a big bag that is like a black hole on an airplane because it's in just, just a nightmare between the lack of space between your feet and trying to find things. So in this pocket right now, it is empty, but this is actually where I kept our passports and our boarding passes. Just easy to grab, no fuss. I could do it with one hand while holding the baby. In this other pocket is where I actually kept my phone and my wallet. So this side pocket here is for bottles. Um, I don't, again, my son doesn't need bottles. He's breastfed, so I just keep my nursing cover in here. And I keep my little hand sanitizer. You definitely need that on an airplane. And this side here, um, again, I wanted easy grab items um, to be kind of on the, the outsides here. So this was actually where I kept my kids' toys. So toys, again, on an airplane, you do not want to piss off everybody around you. So I went with things that did not make noise. So I... I'm having trouble grabbing this for some reason. Ugh. So I had a little uh, rubber teether with some blocks that he can grab onto here. I had this little guy who's kind of like a Sophie but cheaper and I don't know, just as cute. So with a little rubber teether, he it's great. He loves it. It does squeak, but my kids, he's only six months. He can't even squeeze it that hard. So he just kind of chews on the ears and everything. And then the last toy is this guy, which is really cool. Um, Kind of hits all the senses. It's got a crinkle, it's got something to chew on, it's got a squeaker, the middle crinkles, it's got soft silky material on the outside, and the colors are really vibrant, so it kept him busy for quite a while. This is probably the most entertaining toy for a six month old, um, I find. <laughs> so I'll put that down there. So on the back of the bag, in here, I didn't have anything. I think I just kept my, my sunglasses back here. And here I think I had just kept um, some hand and face wipes just because my kid likes to drool and throw up and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm going to go over top of the bag here so you can kind of see in the middle. So this part here in the middle, I just had my Maya wrap. So I did wear my son um, when we got off the plane just because he was kind of sucky. And even throughout the plane, uh, I kind of walked up and down with him and to just keep my hands free, uh, you know, with people walking past uh, the Maya wrap was a really good option. It's just like a got a, a ring sling, but it's uh, very, very handy for <laughs> for airports and airplanes. The bottom of the bag here, I actually just kept a wet bag. Again, came in handy. You can throw dirty diapers, soiled clothes, bibs, all that good stuff in there, and it keeps the smell out. This is the Skip Hop one. It is fantastic. This here, again, I had a change of clothes. I had uh, about three outfits in total um, in here. Nothing in that pocket. This was my 
trusted kind of grooming essentials slash med kit. Um, on the plate, you don't really need a whole lot. I did bring um, a small thing of Aquaphor, uh, um, Advil, a hairbrush, some polysporin, and some vitamins, as well as a thermometer and some lip balm and some um, uh, medicine for myself. All of these are smaller size bottles. They're all under probably about even two ounces, I would say they're all under. As long as it's under three ounces of liquid, they're not going to give you any problems. Um, but if you do have formula or milk or anything for your baby, uh, you can still bring those. They just have to check them. So that's still not a problem. And lastly in the bag, diapers, wipes, and a change pad. Um, so in here, uh, I think I kept, right now I only have three, but I had about six diapers in total. I didn't need to use all six. I think in total from when we left to when we got to our hotel, I used, pretty sure I used about four, four or five of them. So six was a good number to me just to have in case. So that's everything I had in this bag. I also kept the crossbody strap to, which really did help, um, to carry things around, uh, put it over the stroller and make it easier for me. So that's everything I had for my six month old. Now I will move on to what I have in my toddler bag. So in the front part of the bag is where I kept all of his snacks. So we use this formula dispenser as a snack container. So I kept some goldfishies, some puffs and some Cheerios in here for him. I also kept two snack bars. These are just the, what are they? Love Child Oat Chomps. And I don't have anything else in here, but I did keep um, a bib and I had about four squeezy pouches. He only, um, just the fruit pouches because he didn't want to eat anything on the plane. Um, but you can, you know, he only used two, but you can fit other uh, snacks as well. I do suggest the squeezy pouches or packaged food. It made it a lot easier um, with a fussy kit. On the side, I kept his bottle right now. It has water in it, but I did have a full bottle of milk. They let me take it in, no problem, as long as you put it out and show it um, when you're going through the, the bag scanner. They, they don't usually give you a problem with that. On the back here, I have just one pacifier for him. And we'll jump right into the inside. So this bag is great because you can kind of look right in and see everything. Um, so for my toddler, I had a just a, a nice warm blanket for him for the plane because it does get kind of cold. I have a separate change pad. This is the JJ Cole um, change and clutch. And I had four diapers for him and a set of wipes and some diaper rash cream. For him, I think I only used three diapers in total, but I kept four just in case. Glad I did. Uh, this I have here, as I mentioned um, uh, in my tips about <laughs> keeping your kids busy. So this is a homemade um, busy bag I made for him. So it's actually just uh, four pencil cases that I put together with some little uh, binder rings. So this uh, left me the option to do four different activities. So the front I have some pipe cleaner and some colored shapes with holes that he could um, weave through the pipe cleaner. This kept him busy for a long, long time. Um, the next bag is basically all coloring and stuff. So we have coloring books, crayons, stickers, markers, tons of that in here. Um, this also was really good for the hotel because when we were getting ready and things like that, we'd sit him on the bed, let him play with the stickers and his coloring books while we could all get ready in peace. And here I just have a mix of little Legos um, as well as some buckles. He loves closing and opening buckles. It's just a weird thing he has, um, but he loves it. So I packed a bunch of these so he could build some stuff on the, on the plane or, or loop some buckles together. And lastly, these are just, um, popsicle sticks and I stuck, uh, put Velcro on them so we could make some shapes together and things like that. As you can see, he's put his stickers together. Um, but we just played with these and, uh, kept him busy making, you know, squares and triangles and linking them together. He loved that. So that was a really, really good tool to have. It's just a nice variety, especially for a plane. And let's see, lastly in here, I just had again, the multiple changes of clothes for him, at least three outfits I had for him. I could have fit more in here, but again, I didn't want to overpack. So um, yeah, this bag worked out really well. Um, on the other side here, disinfectant wipes, again, a must for a plane, <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much everything. Um, also, this bag is really good too. I uh, just want to show you a little feature. It does 
have a zipper on the side here. So once you close this up, if you uh, lock the top button together and don't want to open it up this way to reach things that are at the bottom, you can unzip this um, and get into it at the side. So that was a great feature um, to have a bag. I would highly suggest a backpack style for a toddler if you need your hands free to get your son through an airport. So that is everything we packed for our two kids for their carry-on for a flight, uh, a four-hour flight. Thank you so much for watching.